everybody. Let me show you what QuickBooks Enterprise can do to keep your information much more protected than any other version of QuickBooks. In QuickBooks Enterprise, you can assign 115 granular user permissions to control access within your software. In this video, you will learn how to assign roles and grant or limit access to a specific role through area and activities. With roles, you can specify in detail what areas of QuickBooks you want certain users to access. You may give them access to an entire area or only certain activities within an area. To view the areas and activities section, we'll go to Company, select Users, then select Setup Users and Roles. Go to the Role List, then select New. An area is defined in the header. Areas include accounting, banking, centers, company, customers and receivables, employees and payroll, file, list, reports, time tracking, and vendors and payables. Areas marked with two asterisks allow unrestricted access if the access levels are not changed. Within each area, you will choose the activity permissions. For example, I will click to expand the activity shown in banking. When I click on bank feeds, my options are to assign no access or full access. Full access will give this role permission to view, create, modify, delete, and print to the area or activity. The bank feed activity circle is now completely green with the banking header area showing as partial access with a half green, half white circle. The bank registers you have the added options of partial access to view and or print. When I choose partial access, the view box is automatically checked mark. This allows permission to view all data related to the selected item. Your only other partial access available with bank registers is to print. This gives you permission to print, email, fax, and save as a PDF. Next, I will choose the checks activities with partial access. If I choose the permission to create, this role can create new activities, entries, or transactions. Modify allows a permission to modify existing activities, entries, or transactions. Delete gives permission to delete existing activities, entries, or transactions. Continue with each area and activities to customize your role with the access level permission. Keep in mind that the double asterisks next to an area like reports mean that the users will have unrestricted access to view all transactions in different reports while searching transactions or any other activities. For example, a user without explicit permission to view payroll information can view payroll transactions if they have unrestricted access in reports. As you can see, this will take a while to get your user role set up. To make it easier, QuickBooks Enterprise created 14 predefined roles to make it easier for you. Watch our next video on how to use predefined roles in QuickBooks Enterprise. If you like this video and you felt you received value, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when I create another video like this. And always thank you for watching.